Hello Aries, welcome to your October 2023 reading. I hope that you are doing amazing. Let's see what we have for you. Aries, Aries, Aries. October 2023. Let me go ahead and call in spirits, Aries. Call upon my spirit guide, Fred, my spirit guide, Cecil, my spirit guide, Sylvia, my spirit guide, Brad. I call upon Metatron. Grant me wisdom that cannot be seen in the cards. Call upon Archangel Michael, garden, protect my energy during the time of these monthly readings. I call upon God, I call upon spirit, I call upon universal source energy. Guide me and direct me. Okay, let's see what we've got for you, Aries. Doing a nine card spread. This one's got, we've got a little bit of uh, glare on those cards. My apologies, my dears. Let me see if I can fix it. Ooh, six of cups is your overall energy. I don't believe we're gonna be able to fix the glare. Let me just move. This is the sun and this is the page of cups. We'll move move them down a little bit. Okay. Yeah, we're putting back up. Just go with it, my dears. Sorry about this. I'm recording late tonight. So the six of cups and the 10 of swords is your overall energy. Somebody can't let go of the past here, Aries. Good times or bad. It's like you're thinking back on all of these things that have recently happened to you or have happened to you in your past. Um, you might be longing to connect with family, longing to connect with a lo uh, an old friend. There's a real intensity here of mental anguish. Mental anguish. thinker. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> if you are not overthinking this, I don't know who is. All right. Look at this, Aries. Thinker and the Ten of Swords. That's pretty intense. It's like your mind is continually on the past. Your mind is on something that's long gone. Your mind might be on how to get back that which was lost, right? Could be. I bet if I do this, that will help. There we go. There we go, Aries. Much better. Deception. Okay. Uh, it says someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. You know, Aries, it could be that you've been trying your best to think back on the good times with this person, but perhaps this person is acting out of character, whether this is a love relationship, family, friend, a uh, coworker you've worked with for a long time, whomever this is, and somebody is not showing you who they really are here with this false mask. Or you could be putting on, um, you know, just an air of, okay, I'm fine. I really, you know, this isn't really bothering me. I'm doing fine. Uh, but yet here you are in this energy of overthinking about things that have been said and done to you. It could be that with this Ten of Swords, you know, you opened up the mailbox and everywhere you looked, there was bills or there was difficulty. And then here you are trying to deal with this people situation, yet struggling. In the past, we see some heartbreak 
over somebody who is very combative, a very passionate energy, somebody who's very passionate, very combative, very forceful in the way that they communicate, which you can be as well, Aries. So we see some heartbreak and a sense of solitude, a sense of loneliness. If you're in a relationship with this person or you're married to this person, there's a sense of loneliness in the relationship. There's a sense of loneliness, you know, um, even amongst a group of people. But we see sadness and heartbreak and grief that you've been dealing with on your own, Aries. It's like you don't want people to see you grieving. You don't want people to see you hurting. So you're trying to focus on those good times that you once had with this person. It's like, if I can only remember the good times, I can find the good in them sort of thing, you know? So where are you now? You're in this, this energy of overthinking, but yet desiring so much that emotional connection you once had with this person. Desiring to connect emotionally, desiring to express love, desiring to have a compassionate understanding for one another. And you've been waiting to see that from this person, Aries. You've been waiting, wishing, and hoping for it. I see that with the sun, the, I see that with the, the sun, the ten of swords, and the three of swords, you just want to be happy. And you will. I see future happiness. I see this person and you coming to a point of loving connection once again. I see a peace offering being made and somebody showing you a very, very sweet, loving energy. And in this space, I see a celebration, a sense of togetherness, a sense of happiness. So I do see good things up ahead for you, Aries. It's just that in the current energy going into October, there's some sadness and loss. Yet I do see change occurring here for you. So Aries, I'm going to leave that there. As always, love and light to you. Do check out the gypsy, groovygypsytarot.com. See if there's any personal readings you'd be interested in or tarot decks or even the magazine. Do check out the magazine. It's, it's really cool. Uh, 63 pages worth. <laughs> All right, my dears. Love and light to you. Until later. Ta-ta for now. <laughs>